Good morning, y'all. Oh, we're on our way to Kamakura today. Let's enjoy and explore. Hey, we're at Kamakura Station. Take the green car straight from Tokyo Station, headed for Zushi. And here's Kamakura Station. Kamakura Station. That's a lot of people. Dang, that's a lot of people. Take this train to the next stop. Yeah. Hase Station. Wow. Looks like this. Japanese houses. Really nice. It's fall. Wow, look at that. Kids are going on the field trip. Tourists. <laughs> Ticket center. 300 yen. Right. Ticket. Yay. Right. Are your hands by this water. To be careful, there are rules. Here's a nice map. The Buddha is in the middle of this compound. All the children see the Buddha right here. Wow. It's huge, huh? What a nice, I think it's 13 meters statue. And pretty cool, you can go right inside for another like 50 yen. Right? Very serious. It's like serious Buddha. It's like the meditating. Meditating Buddha. Class, take pictures. Uh, this is a very popular spot for field trips, for foreign trips. It's only about an hour from Tokyo. I have this beautiful uh, lantern. See beautiful flower. Uh, I think this is copper. It's really nice. But nice to be even closer. Wow, the lips and the earlobes are very pronounced. The offering box where you uh, make your prayers are very big and made out of uh, copper. And look at the beautiful apples. Wow, the Buddha looks so big at all the different angles. This thing's like 13 meters, man. You can see while coming to the back, it's open. I'm assuming to get air through. And here in the middle is actually the entrance to the Buddha. People used to be able to go in. I mentioned the fee is only 50 yen. Check out these massive uh, sandals. Whoa, I wonder how they uh, weave this thing. Another view of the Buddha from the right side of the Buddha. This lantern full of uh, beautiful designs. These shoes are for the Buddha. And the story is the Buddha can go all over Japan and bring uh, good luck. So these are the Buddha's shoes. While walking and no drone zone. I'm smoking. One statue is a oh, great Buddha was cast in 1252 AD. Uh, the height, like I said, 12, 13 meters. Weight, 121 tons. Oh my God. Be careful and keep to the right. This is what it looks like inside. And the Buddha is copper welding. And that should be the head. Careful, it's supposed to be hot in here. Uh, so yeah, don't stay too long. Windows, I guess they uh, let some air in for air, air in the place. Ah, oh, check out the view of the head. They look like dimples. So the construction techniques. Observe the inner hollow of the Kamakura diamonds. So postcards, uh, folders, and booklets. Uh, books of teachings of the Buddha. Village for different reasons, uh, different meanings. The charm for traffic safety. I'm driving exam, I need this one. For well, taking pictures. All right, next, let's say goodbye to the Buddha. Ah, what a nice Buddha. Ah, oh, nice. Another gift shop, you can buy hats, sunglasses apparently. Uh, you got little models These of are this. Better, uh, huh? Yeah, 15 bucks looks like the oh, funky little maybe, Buddha maybe look at the hat. dragon. The collection of shot glasses. Money. The socks. 600 yen. Was that four bucks? This Buddha candy gummy comes out of the Buddha. Wow. Dang, these are numbered and maybe due to uh, popularity. What price? That Buddha snow globes. These look a lot better. Then gods. 
also made in Japan here at the Buddha shop. Wow, these are really beautiful. And uh, especially these urns in vase. Oh, uh, Japanese socks. All right, and we exit the shrine. So this is the exit the bus station right here from the Buddha. Nice postcards. Check out this shop. Oh, it even has like replica swords and masks. Thank God. People call masks like Kanya, which is a demon looking one in the middle. More masks down there. Wow. Like fat ladies. The view of the bonsai over there is really pretty. Took a little stop at Kamakura Shingetsu at this shop to try some famous shirasu, which are those little tiny fish here in Kamakura at this shop. Let's see some descriptions. Kamakura Shingetsu restaurant. Nice shirasu dome. This is called Akamoku. This is a seaweed. Uh, akamoku called seaweed <laughs> sauce <laughs> on the shirasu, little fish, no, rice, on um, yeah, no egg, raw egg. egg. Well, mixed. It doesn't have no egg, it's just octopus, the raw, and the cooked shirasu baby sardine. Salmon with uh, baby sardine and cooked sardine. Matcha warabi mochi, which is like matcha rice cake. Brown sugar syrup. This is Yamitsu, a Japanese parfait. Dips. Wow. Akura in June is famous for hydrangeas. This is Yokozuna tea at the L size. Got octopus cracker. He's gonna press it for us. Alright, I'm rolling it. See results. Wow. You see that piece of paper just fell down? That's an octopus. Uh, which is the octopus cracker with all the octopus paste. What's in there? for a second time. Rolling and unpacking a second time. That's the cracker. Whoa. Now it's gonna cut it. Wow. I like it's like cutting the sides into a clean sheet. This is 500 yen, by the way, which is about 350. Two sheets. And it uh, goes right into your paper. Yay! And that's your octopus cracker. Yay! One for us. Very hot, very hot, very hot. Now look at the marbling. The octopus has been uh, petrified. Mm. How's it taste? Crazy. Crazy. Oh, taste. Oh, it taste. must be good. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Not bad? Mm. Not bad. This is my try of the octopus cracker. Right. Here you go. <laughs> First, reminds me of just a cracker. Then there's very uh, light flavor. <laughs> it just goes on and on and it tastes like a little bit of protein like an egg and um, a little bit of like a, maybe 5% seafood. <laughs>